Hello YouTubers, this is my latest radioactive collection. It's slowly building up. Enjoy. First items on the list are the uranium items. Now, this is Autonite. It's an alpha, beta and gamma emitter small sample here and it fluoresces under ultraviolet light as you can see a lovely greeny blue glow my second sample in the uranium series is pitch blend. That's a gamma producer. And finally, this is a sample of Urano Pyrochlor. And that's got a very small uranium content in it. And it's not detectable on my uh, meter. I'll just show you the readings I'm getting from some of these. Let's go to the higher scale. Now I'd imagine that is mostly beta and gamma because the plastic will be stopping all the alpha. This is a pitch blend sample. Lower on the scale. But it's producing a reasonable amount of gamma rays. <coughs> and that's all of my basic samples of rocks bearing uranium. Now I've got a few samples of things with uranium in it, one of them being the famous fire, Firestone Ware. As we can see, definitely quite active. I'm sure I wouldn't want to eat my dinner off of that. And if we look at the tables, we can see the breakdown of this product. So we start at uranium-238, which those contain small samples of. <coughs> and the breakdown and half-lives of that there. <coughs> Along with the 238, there is a teeny sample, probably less than 0.001% of uranium-235 in the mixture and that is the breakdown for that series of uranium. They will reach a stable equilibrium eventually but they will certainly be going for a long long time after I'm dead. Alright, next we move on, ah, no, one more thing but a lovely green glass bowl which also contains uranium. Now this fluoresces under UV light although it's quite bright in here for filming so you probably won't be able to see it glow but it is a lovely green glow. Now we move on to my radium samples and I've got an old clock here, old alarm clock, there we go, and we should have some nice readings off of here. There we go, clicking away quite nicely there. A 
And finally, in that series, I have an old wristwatch. Quite a nice watch, actually. But this is nice and hot. Go on to the next high scale. There we go. Yeah, and we all used to walk around with these on our wrists. Some people used to sleep with them on as well. So, <coughs> I wonder who got a radiation dose from that. Next into the series, <coughs> we've got Thorium. Now, I've been trying to get a Thorium bearing rock, but I've looked all over eBay and there's nothing for sale in the UK. I'm not sure why, but uh, as I say, I'd like to get hold of a thorium bearing rock and then you can see the uses of the end product now one of the end product uses are these they're thoriated welding rods it's 2% thorium so I shall remove these from their little housing and let's have a look at this So, quite a low reading, but about two and a half times background, I'd say. We get 20 counts a minute on average around here. And that's clicking away nicely there. The other thing that Thorium, that Thorium was widely used for was the old incandescent gas mantles. So if you've ever been camping in the old days, or even in your house, you would have had one of these. Now this is very, very delicate, as you see, there's a small hole in it already. But it's a nice reading off of here. Turn up to the highest scale. And there we go. Got a nice steady read in that. I think I'll put that back because it's so delicate it'll probably fall apart. And here we can see the Thorium Decay series on here. And there's the breakdown until you finally reach a stable right, next in line in my little uh, collection of radioactive things <coughs> is a beta light now that's a small beta light now you should be able to see it glow if I hold it there you go that's a small beta light now that is a hydrogen isotope, 3H. Now I can get a reading from it. Now this is a beta producer of the uh, hydrogen free tritium, but that's not beta radiation coming through because I doubt it would be allowed through the, the borosilicate glass. So what I'm getting there is probably breaking radiation. So that would be producing x-rays. So quite a nice steady little click on there. And that will glow for about 12.3, 12.5 years. Then it starts to slowly dim. And finally, everybody's got one of these sources, or should have if they're uh, safety conscious. <coughs> And that's the good old smoke detector. It's got a small source of americium in it. And I don't like to take these apart. I'm not even sure it's legal to take them apart. But I know inside there the americium source should be somewhere around about 15 to 20,000 clicks per minute. So quite high. The uh, breakdown tables for that would be... 
somewhere above the Neptunium series. So Americium would break down to the Neptunium and then that's the breakdown for that series there. I hope you enjoyed my video and my small collection of radioactive stuff. As I say, I still love to get get a hold of some thorium ore, maybe fluorite or something like that, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Bye.